So we're here with my guest today at Rock Creek TV, Jay Semco, and I have no idea if I have food on my face, probably. Well, hey, that, listen to me. That's a sign of a good meal anyway, I think. But um, I'm going to turn the camera back over to Jay Semco, and we're going to wrap up here. We started talking about, um, right at the beginning of the program, 45s and recording and an A and a B side and all of that. And I just wanted to turn things over to you, Jay, you know, because we're just talking off camera there about the internet and how that's changed things. And... Um, I suppose what, what, what I wanted to talk to you about was, you know, do we want to trust a recording studio in a box or is there still something to be said for the experienced ears of an engineer and a producer and stuff? Is it a great place to start for good demos to then maybe bring something into the studio like that? Yeah, well, you, you, you can't help but learn more about music in the recording process if you're right. doing it yourself. Having said that, I mean... During the course of my music career, I've gotten to work with some great engineers and great producers and great mixers. And there's, you know, that comes with training, education, and a lot of work, a, right. lot, of, a lot of practice, and a lot of, you know, putting it in motion, taking the, the things that you learn and putting them in motion. So, hey, there's there's not as many recording studios as there used to be. Yeah, but, right. You know, really. If, if you want to have the best recording you can get, obviously the most professional people you can get on your side can, can help you do that. But like I say, there have been, you know, there are occasions where you can do your own recordings and they, can, sure. they can work really well. But you know, there's no substitute for expertise. So, like I say, there's, you know, if you've got somebody who's really great recording engineer, and especially, you know, there's a, a movement back to analog now. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are starting to go back to using the big two-inch tapes and analog as opposed to digital. I mean, there's a little. There's to me, there's quite a bit more skill involved mm -hmm. because you, there's a, a degree of saturation with the analog tape that you can do, and mm -hmm. it, it, it always comes down to trial and error mm -hmm. and experience in terms of place, placing mics and when you mix it, finding what works, where you want to place things in the stereo spectrum and that kind of whole thing. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there's, there's no nothing substitutes expertise. No kidding. The thing I, the thing that I love about you, that I, t I tell everybody this about you, I have never witnessed anybody like Jay Samco listen to music the way you listen to music, and I've 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 had the privilege of being on stage with you multiple times now, and also being a, a member of the audience. And man, you close your eyes and you're in you're you're in in that spot. When, when other artists are playing and I just think I suppose if I had anything to say to anybody listening to this is just enjoy your craft and, and just constantly be a student because when I watch you somebody at Western Canadian Music Hall of Fame all over the planet playing have had the hits on the radio have done everything that you've done to still have that enthusiasm for artists who are coming through up and coming in a singer-songwriter environment or a live band environment to still listen to the way the way you do it's just it's something else and um, the thing is I'm, I'm thrilled to have you here today on Rock Creek TV we're going to get you to do a live performance tonight which I'm so thrilled about and honestly you know thank you again for being who you are and, and for sharing your art with us and letting us inside your world for a bit hey thanks Stephen had a blast <laughs>